Hello, Ski, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Alex Fu. And I would like to introduce you to the next boss, the boss of the... of the Unicorn's Cave, and... okay, I'm gonna stop that. Anyway, what you want to do here is... You see this ball up here? Basically, don't let it hit you. But basically, let it hit him. And you're, we're in business. That's really the only thing you have to worry about. Not to be hit by the spiked ball, and not to be hit by him. Doesn't even matter if you're, if you're facing the spiked ball. Ow. Alright, and then he will split into these little pieces. He's kind of like... The guy with the bubbles from... Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. If you know what, what guy I'm talking about, the guy with all the the, the the eyeball from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, the boss whose never, name I can never remember, and who I'm not going to look up because I'm in the middle of a boss fight. Anyway, he's like that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just want to hit him with this steel ball. And like I said, he's easier than the mid-boss, which is absolutely ridiculous. Well, I mean, to be honest, that was the same in Majora's Mask, too. That mid-boss was so much harder than that boss. I mean, I remember having loads of trouble with that guy. Like, I don't think... I think I spent... When I first got that game, I spent, like, an entire day just fighting that guy. And dying. And dying. And dying. And we can't hit that last guy, can we? Alright, I might just take out my... Oh, I have out my sword. Ow. Sorry, I'm, I, I, that, I should be commentating right now, but I'm concentrating on not dying. Uh, I'm trying to concentrate on hitting this guy, because now he's moving faster. I wish I could have gotten rid of him in that last phase, but I couldn't. But anyway, it's the same thing. You just gotta take out, you just gotta split him into the different parts, take out a small parts, and then your goal- ow! Golden, and I'm gonna kill myself with the ball, aren't I? Darn it, I, I almost... Ah! 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 Well, he's still easier than the mid-boss. Watch, I'm not gonna die twice on him. Uh... Knock on wood. <laughs> I hope. Alright, I'm just gonna meet you guys back there. Alright. Alright guys, hello and welcome back to... Welcome back. I'm just going to fight the boss. Screw all that welcome back crap. It's not the end of the episode. By far, we've got a lot of stuff to do in this episode. No, no, oh, I can't hit you. There we go. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, I got you twice. I'm not going to get at you a third time, are you? Am I? I will get you a third time, even if I have to sacrifice my own life to do it. There's one. There's not another. There's another. There's another. There's another. Okay, get a, get a hit on you. Get a hit on you. I do not want to spend the entire episode fighting you. Aha. Oh, you just dodged. Why didn't you dodge? Ow, that hurt my throat. <laughs> hey, Pitch- Hey, Piccolo. Yes. Are- Are you a Yoshi? Yes, Goku. I'm a green fucking dinosaur. Can- Can I ride you? Anyway, we got the nurturing worm, the essence of nature. Balmy days build strong saplings with their nurturing worm. Do 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 nurturing warmth is finally ours. <laughs> and we get a visit back from the Maku Tree. We haven't heard from this guy in quite a while, have we? Oh, Alex! Nurturing warmth has brought me strength. I saw a dream of Alex inside vast ruins. Perhaps an essence is hidden in some. Oh. This is 
Alright, so if you remember when we went on our treasure hunt a few episodes back, we actually stumbled across a guy who's like, Ah, oh, you can't have these life essences until you have like five essences. So we're gonna go back to that guy, and we're gonna smack the crap out of him until he gives us an essence. Actually, no, we're gonna do something else first, because I've been putting this off far too long. We're gonna whirl off on our way up, back up to Sunken City. I forgot what it's called. I was gonna about to say Mount Cuckoo, which actually is where we're going, but we get a few seconds before we get there. Come on. Speed it up, speed it up. Actually, I want us to check that. What happens if we use the wrong seeds? Yeah, no, go back. What happens if we use Pegasus seeds and then go in the water? Go exactly the same speed and waste the Pegasus seeds. Alright. I can deal with that. Anyway, we're gonna go get out our sword right now because I think that was either Crinkson or Hatumax who told me that that one little bit of, well, not that one little bit, but that very nice tidbit of information that I can actually use my sword if it's set to be. But like I said, I've been using, I'm playing this on the Wii because I don't want to emulate this on the computer for the screen capture. Well, I can't really screen capture a computer now, can I? No, I don't want to emulate this on the computer because I don't have the uh, screen capture, the emulator capture on my computer set up right. So I. Ooh, 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 Maple. Haven't seen you in a while, have we? No, no, go, go. Still on your broom, huh? Alright, we're gonna hit you in the middle. Nah, no, you didn't drop anything really that great. You again? Thanks to you, everything in my bag... <laughs> everything in my bag... Everything in my bag flew out. You must be brave to hit Maple like this. I'll just take your stuff too. Here goes! Oh shoot, we need the sword. And the Pegasus Seeds, of course. And... Ha 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 ha! Now you're sorry. I have more stuff than before. See ya! Yeah, basically she's saying she has more stuff before only because she got the Pegasus Seeds. Which to me is really weird because the game programmers put much more value on the Pegasus Seeds than the... 60 rupees that we picked up? I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me. <gasps> That's right, we get to see the Gorons again. Do you know the Goron base? <laughs> I love doing that voice. Like, I really don't know why I love doing that voice so much, but I do. Oh yeah, and we can actually go up here and use the magnetic gloves now, can't we? Or, no we can't, not yet. Oh, that's right. That's another item that we need first. That might just be the level 2 to this item. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. N hint, hint. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, she said knowingly. Is your is your wife a, a goer? Is, is she a goer? Does she like to go? Achoo! I must death do. He's so cold. You have me any dig dick you on the body up? Oh, that spear's good. Can I have that suit? Sure, of course. That'll keep you from, you know, huffing and puffing and sneezing the whole mountain down on us. Look, look. Because he actually says it. It's a harmony of flavors. Thanks to you, I'm all better. Take this as a symbol of my gratitude. And we got the Goron vase. It's a very nice vase. Mmm. -hmm. Excuse me for a second. Now, if you don't remember, there was an, actually a person in the sunken village who was looking for a Goron vase, and I would say that it's quite similar to the one we just found. So, oh, 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 before we go there, before we go there, maybe this time they'll show us. All right, so we'll go back here and, and same thing. Pretty. How many more? Wait. Uh, oh my god, how many more bombs will it take to rebuild our land? After what just happened, I've lost all hope. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I was so talking about. Wee, <laughs> so is you. You pay. An eye for an eye. So basically what happens is you try to light it on fire anymore, and they'll throw you in the back. 
and set the bombs to blow. And... Boom, 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 boom! That's right. Game over. And I absolutely love that about this game, that it actually does that to you. Instead of just letting you get away with that continuously. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a weird thing to, to love about a game, but not many games would do that to you. It's like in Super Paper Mario, if, if they're like, Oh, hey, can you go on this quest for us? And you choose no. It'll give you game over, and you'll have to... That's it. <laughs> you'll have to start the game all over again. I love things like that, because you wouldn't think... Like, most games would put you through a loop. Like, oh, are you sure? Come on, help us out, and do it. Oh, that big run, no matter how often I ask, he won't give me my, give me his base. I'd give my dinner for it. Fish! Gas. The that Because <laughs> he says gasp as well. The that Base! Give me that base, please. I'm begging you. Sure, why not? Yahoo! It goes right in my collection. And thanks, here, take my dinner. My last fish. I can't even... I don't even know what voice I did for him. My last fish! I kinda like it, though. <laughs> I know who it is. I can't put my finger on it, though. And... We're going back to Horon Village, because if you remember... Actually, I can't remember if I showed that guy at all. Uh, there was a guy who actually... Do we have any rings? No, we haven't picked up rings in a while, have we? Oh, well. Not that big of a deal. If you'll remember, there was a guy who was looking for fish. Right up here. Here. Aha! I can't remember if I showed this guy to you guys or not. Look! No matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down. If... Actually, wait. Aw, oh, man, I wish I could do a Hodonia voice, because it's like Hodonia and Wendy, isn't it? If only I had her favorite treat, fish! Hey there, you have a fish! It's Mitten's favorite food! Is that for her? Of course. Oh, thank you so much! Mittens! Here, Mittens! Meow. Mittens, oh good kitty! Thank you! Oh, yes, a reward! Here, take this megaphone! Your fish has now turned into a megaphone! Give a shout, because... It's very fishy how it turned into a megaphone like that. Uh, we don't have to change anything. Why'd I go in the menu? I guess this will be just like the quest, <laughs> the side quest episode, because I'm actually gonna, I'm going to be going around a little bit for different people, because I believe we can now do almost all of this side quest. So why not? All right, and we're going back up to Mount Cuckoo. Sorry about that, I was checking my time for a second, and I'm trying to figure out if I need to actually end the episode or not. I think I kind of do, actually. Alright, so... This has been Oixfu with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and... Well, next time we're going to continue on this quest mission that we have going. And next we're going to be looking at a very familiar face. Well, sort of familiar. Familiar... Oh wait, no, this came out after uh, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, so yeah, it is going to be familiar. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be familiar to half of you anyway because you've played those games, but I mean, timeline-wise, familiar. So... Alright, so, next time we will see what's in this cave, finally. Oh, no. I thought that was my sword. Oh, well. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Mio Fu. Yeah, go back. Take it easy.